On another episode of Insomnia Mass, I want to share an interesting pattern I noticed in the growth of polyominoes. I thought I had discovered something quite extraordinary, and while it is an interesting pattern, it wasn't quite as exact as I thought. Polyominoes are created by adding tiles together. The most famous example of polyominoes are Tetris pieces, which are the seven pieces that can be formed from four tiles. The simplest polyomino is the monomo, a single square. Nothing to see here, so let's move along. The next one is the domino, pretty famous. And this brings up an important point. In this calculation, polyominoes are freely rotatable, although not flippable, just like in Tetris. So these two dominoes are the same, and we have only one domino. When we get to the tromino, we get our first options. There are two separate trominoes. And of course, if you've touched a computer or video game system in the last 30 years, you know about these seven pieces. The next step is the pentominoes. There are 18 of them, and there have been attempts to use them in Tetris-like games, although it never really caught on. Going on from there, the number of possible combinations rapidly increases. By the time we have 7 tiles, we have 196 possible combinations, and by 15, we have almost 7 million. These numbers are listed in OEIS sequence A000988. When I was first adding these numbers up in my head, trying to get to sleep, I noticed a pattern. The first four terms brought us up to 2.64, and I had wondered if they would get close to E. And indeed, when I had time to check, the first six terms added up to 2.71507. Since I knew that there were a few more terms, I thought they might add up to E. It is always interesting to find patterns like this in math. And the pattern wouldn't be a coincidence. One of the ways that E is defined is by adding the inverses of the factorial combinations of each number. And at first glance, these are similar questions. Where can we add a block to make a four-tile tetromino out of our three-tile tromino is similar to the question of where we can add a yellow circle in a run of three different colored circles. There are differences, though, because the growth of polyominoes is restrained by the ge geometric constraints of the block. And that is perhaps the reason that, while it is close, it is not quite the same. Counting the inverses of the number of possible combinations up to 15 gives us 2.72215, which is a little over E. So it seems that this series will give us a number that is 0.14% greater than E. Still a very close number, but not as amazing as when I first did the math in my head. But for me, it is always fun to find patterns in math, even when it is not an exact result, and even when it doesn't seem to have much applicability.